Hey you guys, it's Nathan. I want to share some uh, text effects that are in Photoscape X and how you can translate those over to other pieces of software that you might want to add text to, but maybe it doesn't have the features that you're wanting. So uh, here's the best way that I can describe it for you guys. Um, outsourcing. Let's say you make this product and you're the best in the world, but let's say you don't understand packaging or you don't understand shipping or you don't understand certain things. You don't necessarily have to learn everything about those different uh, things. Um, if you can find somebody or find something else to be able to do that for you, then you don't have to uh, devote all your time to you know learning those different things. That's why you know I don't have to set up an uh, e-commerce website necessarily because I could put stuff on Amazon to sell, and they do a great job selling stuff, and I might just need to have the best product. So in that case, um, you could look at something like PowerPoint. And you can say, okay, I'm starting this PowerPoint. It's going to be great. I'm going to go to add text. I'm going to go in here and like uh, test one, you know, uh, history um, and all that stuff. Okay, cool. Well, I want to increase the size here. So I'm going to increase the size up to like 60. Whoops, I got to grab the whole thing. It's been kind of a while since I've used PowerPoint. Back in the day, I used to use it all the time. Um, but you're like, okay, cool. So you got that. That's neat. And then, of course, you have all your different uh, fonts that you can select. So it's like, cool. So I can, you know, find what I want there. And then you can select like a color. Um, and it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, you can select any color you want. Okay, cool. So you can go and select whatever. All right, that's cool. Um, and you know, there are ways where it's like, oh yeah, you can drop a little uh, shadow in here um, and get a little bounce off the your background there but the challenge is you're going to run out of abilities to make real compelling text and uh, the individual was saying wait I don't understand it because you know if I put something else in will I still be able to do the animations like I would like because in the animations you could say oh yes I want the fly in effect so then when you go back and you're saying oh yeah I'm gonna go to my slideshow I'm gonna hit um, start from the beginning. It's going to start with nothing. Next slide. Ooh, it's going to slide in. Oh, test one history. All right, cool. And you're all good there. But let's say you said, hey, I really want really good text where there's borders, there's gradients. I have more control over what's going on. Um, that's something you can do, but it's something you'll have to outsource out to something like Photoscape X. And I think that this process could take a bit more time, but if you're making a PowerPoint that you're going to use time and time again, or it's for a very important thing, you know, this might be something that could be useful for you. Um, if there's any like pro photo uh, um, or PowerPoint people out there who have some different text tools, um, that would be cool. I'd love to learn them. I'd love to know if there's any even sort of gradients that you might be able to add in or anything like that. From my understanding, there's not, but that's just me. Going over to here, you say, okay, cool. So you could add in uh, this. So you could add in the image, and then you could go over here to insert text, and you could insert your text, and you know you can go back here and say, oh yeah, I'm gonna copy that. Cool. I'm gonna go over here, paste that in. Boom, and you're able to uh, get that just perfectly in there, and you got it with your special gradient that you want it to be and you can of course still select whatever type of font you want but you can get the gradient and then you can go in here and say oh I could do some crazy stuff with that I could change the gradient color to whatever I want depending on the background you can change how the styled across so um, an angle rotation hue all this stuff you have so much control um, there's also other stuff like long shadow so you can increase the length of your shadow there so you're not just stuck with what they give you. You're able to, yes, do the normal drop shadow, outer glow, also overlays where if you want to make it look all like scratched up or something, you know, there's a lot of different things you could do to make it look um, more interesting or more unique. Now, the challenge though is saying, wait, if I export this as an image, like um, whatever type of image format you'd want to export it as, and you bring it over to PowerPoint, you're going to end up with just a static image and you won't be able to get that animation. Now, here's what you got to do here. Basically, 
you're going to say, okay, so this is uh, test one. Okay, cool. This uh, PowerPoint is going to be like a 1080p PowerPoint. Um, all right, cool. So that's perfectly fine. What you can do is go over here and you say, okay, you got to take away the background. Got to take away the background. And you're going to go and hit new. And you're going to uh, go in here. I would set it on the preset that of what you're going to be making. So 1080p. And then just hit full transparency. Now, uh, one question that I had just recently was, hey, what if I don't see my blue lines on my transparency? Well, over here on the bottom, uh, there's a grid button. You can turn that grid on and you can get your borders here. Then what you'll do is instead of inserting your image, you're just doing the text. So we'll go over into here, insert text. We'll go and we'll paste that in. All right, cool. Make sure there's only one line there so it can take the correct effect. And you're looking at that and you're like, okay, that looks pretty cool. Now, here's an interesting question that I kind of have. Let me look at this. If template, load template, do, 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 do. copy to clipboard. Would it allow copy paste over? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think it was going to be that nice. For softwares to work that seamlessly together would be, <laughs> that would be a dream. Um, but basically what you would do is you would say, okay, I'm going to increase the size of this because you know, you're not really going to um, just increase it to a good size where it's not going to get cut off on the side, but still going to be pretty large. Make sure it's exactly what you want it to be. Um, so let's say, I'm not, I'm not having a terrible problem with what it has here. Um, so let's say you are happy with that, or maybe we'll do something that might work a little better, so like Photoscape X. Okay, so let's say you got that to where you want it to be. And the thing is, you can put in whatever you want. Let's say you, if you don't like the X back here, and take that out, hit duplicate, you could go over here, go push X here, go over here and find a uh, X that I like better. Decrease the size. All these uh, tips are free, by the way, so that's nice. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you are getting value out of this video. Uh, let's see outline. We're gonna decrease that. Cool. May I'll even go to transform. Go to transform here. Squish it down a bit. Boom. There you go. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of tools you could do. I could even bolt, make that more bold. It looks pretty interesting. So let's say you like that and you're all good, ready to go. You like the font. I could do something a little more interesting just for the kicks and giggles. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Nah, okay, we'll we'll just leave it there. Um, but we got to give it at least a at least a shadow there, though. At least a bit of a shadow. Maybe we'll give it a white shadow. I don't know. I've been kind of messing with different type of shadow ideas since I been doing some different graphic design stuff recently. All right, so let's say let's say you're like blown away and you're like, this is the best. This is the coolest thing ever. This is so cool. Um, then what you can do, maybe we'll even change our color there. All right, let's say you love this. This is perfect for what you're wanting to do. You can go and hit save. So make sure it saves as a PNG. So it's going to give you that transparent background. I'm going to save that out. Then we're going to go back to our PowerPoint here. And what we're going to do is uh, we can leave this text here so we can just see the difference between the two. I'm going to drag and drop it in to here. And there is your text that you've just added into your image. I have this design thing on the side here, which is fine. Um, let's see. Let me select it, bros. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't show like, uh, I see. Because it's um, 1080 by 1920. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Um, what you could do later, because you know the size is good, you could crop it later. So then it's not super big. Yeah, you crop it later so that it's not super big. All right, we're just gonna go and hit save. I'm gonna save this as a second version of this. Cool. Um, so that's not this huge, a uh, random box laying around. All right, so you can drop this in, and there you have it, right there. And then you can, you know, close this up, and then you can decrease the size. Ooh, let's uh. <laughs> back in the day when you actually had to hold down certain keys so you don't lose your your style and stuff you can have that 
and it's in there. You just totally move or you're able to move it around. You're not able to edit the text because you had to save it out as an image, but back into your animations. Uh, can we see how that would, uh, how that might look? Oh, sorry. I kind of have it at the bottom kind of ruins the effect. Um, so then when you go to a uh, home and you go over here, oh, come on guys. Uh, slideshow from the beginning. All right. So there you got, you got this here. You hit that slides up, but you had full control over the text that you, um, you were able to put in. You're not just stuck with what PowerPoint gives you. So I hope that this video was helpful to show you guys what you can do by outsourcing maybe your text needs to something like Photoscape. Um, you know, you could use Affinity, you could use Photoshop, different things for this. But it's saying that if you aren't satisfied with what something like PowerPoint gives you, you can use another software to complement what you're doing. So I hope that was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.